Peace, peace, family. It's Phoenix Boss, the Paradigm Killer, once again. And this is Deep Cover Decoded. I'm just being all break with this shit. This shit is so motherfucking intricate. I'm going to be breaking down this shit for a minute and probably going back and going back. So this is the this is a freestyle format where I'm just first glancing shit and then I'm going to have to go back like the He-Man shit which I'm which is coming. Now I'm going to go back like the He-Man joint and kind of get into the actual plot. I just want to drop a couple of things that are like, you know, some of those things that stand out real, real nice for you just off the fucking jump. First of all, man, two major points. They tell you two major points at the beginning of the uh, deep cover. Number one is fuck holidays. And it goes back to my point in uh, Phoenix Bars, the occultist. When I'm saying how like, like I women... Niggas got to do what they got to do. Now, this nigga was wildin' by robbing a liquor store, drunk mother, halfway drunk motherfucker robbing a liquor store for fucking $25, $30 type shit. That nigga was wildin'. But I'm just saying, it adds to the point of the pressure that a lot of men are put on, especially around these European holidays. Because let's be real, some of the days might be, they based all this shit off of us, off of our shit. So, but I'm saying just, just how how the shit works, they had to offset it by a day or two. Okay? So, what I'm telling you is, if not on the exact day of, the, of this European holiday, it used to be a nigga holiday. Within a day, within three days, within three days of that holiday, nigga shit. But they, they're about taking power. Okay? Oh, the second point is that first point, fuck holidays. Second point, nigga, talk later. Nigga, if you would have went around the corner, got in your car. Well, your son might have got blown away, though. Maybe. But, nigga, talk later. Pay attention to what you doing first and then talk. See what I'm talking about, son? Blah, get your chest blown out. If he would have just went on about his business or if he was watching me. Man, I, hey, soldier shit. You mean, you confirm that kill. Confirm that kill, my man. Okay? Real shit. Woo! One of the most... Man, this shit is... Man, this shit's one of the realest shit that I've come across in the movie so far. The motherfucker asks, what is the difference between a black man and a nigga? <sighs> Woo! He was looking for a certain kind of response. He needs somebody... He needed somebody... Who wouldn't do what the first officer did, which what I would have did was I would have choked his bitch ass out. I would have did more than he did. I would have slapped fucking fire out of his mouth for even fixing his lips to say that shit in front of me. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck who you are, what position you hold. Okay? Damn. The other mother. This this see in that um the guy who brings Sam, um, uh, brings um Lawrence Fishburne in, the guy you know the ball, the semi bald looking pale fuck, that brings that nigga in. He speaks to the crazy psychology of the ruling class. This fuck nigga says, "I am God. I know everything." What? Just cause you know my father. God, you, just because you can read a report, just because you can read my file, don't mean you God, motherfucker. Not at all. <sighs> Crazy shit. Important shit, and this goes to liberation. This goes to the liberation. Nigga, don't blow your cover. No matter what, nigga, don't blow your cover. Period. So if we in these situations, we dealing with what we got to deal with, nigga, don't blow your cover. You get, you get home and you, 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 yeah, you get home and you do what you got to do first. You get home first, nigga. That's some real shit. Don't blow your cover. Peep game. 
When the little ball, I got, I should have remembered the ball fuck's name. I don't know fucking ball, halfway ball fuck's name. But when the dude that brought Lawrence Fishburne in is, you know, explaining to him the ins and outs of the operation, they, you, you can tell from first break that he's telling you, he should have told, he should have, Lawrence Fishburne should have peeped game that that big, big fish is plugged the fuck in. He's plugged in with the hierarchy. That's why that ball fuck says, no, you get the two lower ones. You know, Lawrence Fishburne being the naga, it's like, shit, yo, we gonna go for the head. I'm going for the head nigga. Get that head nigga up out of here. And it's a wrap. And he also told you a lot about the system, how the system being ran. They said that Fucking 80, 80, 90, 80, 90 percent of the fucking drugs was going through this one man. Common sense would tell you you get that one man, man, for real, for real. See, that's why I could never be no cop. Because if you touch babies, if you untouchable, I'm going to get at you. I would get at you. I'm sorry. If I was a cop, I had a gun and a badge on my hip, and a child molester goes free, a child rapist goes free. All the niggas on the force going to be watching me. Because they going to know I'm going to put that nigga in the dirt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Especially being a cop. See, that's why I couldn't be a cop. That's why I couldn't be in military. Because I really am about protecting the people. And these fuck niggas is about protecting the hierarchy. Okay? So peep game. These niggas ain't your friends. These niggas ain't your motherfucking friends, family. I think it's deep, man. And it's deep how they... Watch how they did this shit in this next scene. When you had a big cock diesel pussy nigga who kills the 13, 12-year-old boy over territory, which is crazy to me, man. I don't understand how these big... I don't understand this. See, that's that European... That's that sick European psychology getting into niggas' heads. If you a big bolo ass nigga, what the fuck are you even doing? Picking on what makes you think you're hard, huh? What makes you think you're hard by picking on somebody strong, uh, not as strong as you? What points do you think you getting, you pussy ass niggas? Pussy ass niggas, man. And peep game in this movie. See, this is how they do shit through movies. Y'all peep Kane from Menace to Society was one of the people in the crowd like, fuck, they killed that young boy. Man, why they kill, why he killed that young boy? Peep motherfucking game. Kane from Menace was in the crowd sitting there like, oh, what the fuck happened? Okay. Peep game to that shit. Next point, the nigga, the nigga, uh, little, uh, he plays, he plays the, like, a, 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 a half-breed sellout in almost every movie, dog. This dude, you know, I, I, I'll get his name by the next video, but this dude is always playing the, se- the, the sellout nigga, dog. Even in, um, Malcolm X, Mal- I'm talking about the one that Malcolm X put that, uh, put that revolver to his nose and it was like, what, is this the nigga or the wop side? Is this the nigga or the wop side? Nigga always snitching and f- getting fucking um addicted to some shit. That's my next point. Drug dealers doing drugs and snitching. That is the gateway drug. <laughs> that is the gateway to snitching. Once you start dipping, you're going to be snitching. So... Shout out to all my real nagas. When somebody in your circle start to dipping, you better get to start to dipping them the fuck up out of your circle. Because the snitching will be coming very soon. Shit, real shit. Woo, and this is some power shit. Powerful ass shit. When the, when the big boss knocks on your door and says... Somebody got to go and I got it. You let him do it. You don't get off of no, oh, see, that's that pride that people got to understand. Pride is our 
bet as our gift and our curse. That pride will get you fucked up. See, because if, if he was, if he was smart, if he was smarter, and if he really was, see, if he was more proactive on getting out of the game before this point, he would let him handle. Yeah, yeah, fucking handle that shit. Don't come to my house again. See me, I would have came to the house. I would have told, I would have told the wife and kid to get the fuck. And I would have came to the door with that joint. Like, what's up? Don't come to my house. If you could call me, motherfucker. Don't come to my house. I'll blow all three of y'all with one fucking buck. With one motherfucking buckshot. I'll blow all three of y'all into them bushes. But when the nigga, when the big boss shows up at, at your door and tells you to bomb first, nigga, you better bomb first. Real shit. Real ass shit. You better bomb first. We'll see later on how all this shit's gonna play. Now, I, I, I end it here. We gonna make this one a little nice, little short joint, but. What is up with, uh, what is up with all of this high, what is up with all of the high ranking mafioso type being like super obviously bisexual homo thugs. Like, really, what is up with that? Really, is what, what is up with that? And I'm about to tell y'all what's up with that, and then I'm going to end this shit. That's how you get into the circle. So all of y'all who worship the stars, and all of y'all who want to be in these big organizations, and want to be this, and want to be rub shoulders with this and that one, Prepare to get your, your, your anus tampered with. That is why, at the very high levels, because these dudes, you gotta understand, MK, look, look, look into, uh, what's it, a uh, ritual, what's it called? Ritual, ritual, satanic abuse, uh, basically that. It's called like ritual, uh, satanic abuse and shit, and, a lot of these motherfucking, a lot of these people's parents, is, a lot of these pale people's parents are doing this shit to them from the jump. From Trump Street. These sick fucks. Is, these sick fucks. That's why I don't play when it comes to, to, to my or anybody's babies, man. I don't play with that shit. Because these sick fucks out here are doing some sick ass shit to their own children. So by the time they grow up. Yeah, they might be semi-gangsters, but they done had their anus played with for, for, for half of their life. For most of their life. So, be careful what you wish for, family. Be careful what you wish for when you wish to be a star. Or you wish to be in this or that circle. Okay? Peace, family. This is the deep cover decoding... Part one. Holla.